Ladies and gentlemen, episode 252, volume three. This is the Sticks of the Week section. I'm your host this week, Joe Hozempa. Sitting to my right is Joe D. And we have in studio Carson Serino from Serino Cigars. If you're just tuning into the show, my only comment is where have you been? However, if you're just tuning into the show, uh, you want to go to stogiegeeks.com. The whole show will be there in its entirety. We had an interview with Carson, and we talked a little bit about Serino Cigars. We just interviewed Pierre from PierreTrader.com, and now it's our Stogie Geeks section of the week. But before then, I want to encourage every Stogie Geeks listener to tell your retailer about this show because in a couple of weeks, we are going to have an interview that can help out the shop owner with their bottom line. Fascinating interview coming up. So make sure if you're listening to the show, tell your retailer about Stogie Geeks. Have them go to stogiegeeks.com. If they're technologically savvy, have them even like the Facebook page, follow us. A lot of fascinating things happening here on the Stogie Geeks show. But with further ado, it's, nice. the, it's, it's, it's Jody's favorite time. I love it. It's the sticks of the week. Nice. If I can open with... Uh the current stick I'm smoking right now, Sereno Royale, 20th anniversary, double X Maduro. Things ridiculous, and uh, getting those dark chocolatey notes, uh, one of my favorites. I'm really enjoying it. First stick, the uh, Moestra de Saka Noctamale. Steve Saka is uh, second, uh, second offering uh, in this line. Sam- uh, Moestra uh, translates the sample, sample of Saka. Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. $16 price point, box of seven. I uh, smoked the Toro 6x48. Um, originally introduced the 2017 IPCPR um, 2250. Uh, as far as the uh, the box counts, a limited filler tobacco, only from one farm in Jalapa, Nicaragua. Uh, Steve Saka wanted to go with that old farm style Liga, and uh, this cigar is uh, a win for sure. Full body. Cinnamon and cedar notes, a little bit of pepper in there. And um, for me, it's a box worthy stick. Truly enjoyed it. Moester, De Saka, Noctamale. Hmm. Steve Saka, uh, Ton ba- uh, Don Barton, Tobacco and Trust, of course. And uh, this is the second Moester, uh De Saka release in the uh, coffin box. I haven't first, had it yet. First was the uh, Exclusivo. Oh. Have you had either one? Uh, as we said last week, this is scary. This is scary. As we no said last, yeah, <laughs> as we said last week, right? Uh, wow. Joe D and I just review the number of sticks. Like, oh, I got this many, that many, and that's it. That's all we do. So now I have to scroll down, because since you're on the subject, yeah. since you're on the subject, I smoked the same stick, uh, size six by fifty-two. Again, came in the coffin cases. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Boy, yeah, with, all cylinders, man. With, 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 <laughs> with all those details there. <laughs> However, on the Joho Zemper official Stogie Geek scale of complexity, flavor, and balance, on a scale of 1 to 10, complexity, flavor, balance, I gave them all 8s in regards to that. Um, obviously, I said that, uh, and, and by the way, this is all on StogieGeeks.com. You can click on the Stogie section. You can read my full notes there. Um, this came in individual coffin boxes, boxes of 7. Uh, getting to the taste. It del- t- for me, it delivered a mix of chocolate nut, nut and earth with a mix of black pepper. Great smoke. The black pepper settles into the background, and then it transitions towards the end to a creamy sweetness that you will enjoy. That being said, drum roll, please, for Joe Zempa's rating. I gave it a box worthy. Nice, nice. There it is. <laughs> Which is big. <laughs> if you listen, to, if you listen to the show. So uh, there you go. That was the Jody. Mo- Moisture Day Saka Noctamale, second offering from uh, yeah. Steve Saka. I actually hesitated smoking that stick for a while. It was in my rotation. I was carrying it around for a while, and I've actually heard some mixed mixed reviews. Okay. And I just you know I was like ah you know and then I finally got to it and I was thoroughly impressed. Certainly mixed reviews. Uh, the hype train can yeah. let people down sometimes, and it's still a good cigar, and they just get all hyped up on it and think it's going to be the best cigar of all time, and it's still a really good cigar, and they think it's a bad cigar after that. But 
That's a great point. I, I think uh, sometimes <laughs> the people have a tendency to, to read too much into uh, the cigar instead of just sitting down and enjoying it mm -hmm. right out of the gate. See what you know your your initial take is. Don't be swayed by uh, outside forces. Yeah, yeah, I sit down and and take it for what it is. Like a lot of people, if they if a lot of cigar companies when when they come out with like yearly releases, right. you go into last year's mental notes, yeah. what it tasted like, and you're like, oh, that's different. Mm -hmm. Well, it's okay. It's yeah. it's it's different. It's different for a lot of reasons. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? And you would know, like you know, you you, you got the crop, you mm -hmm. got the year, yep. how it aged, what the process was, we have no what, idea what, the what they got. Were you have, you know what I mean? Yeah. And and there's a lot of factors in there, so uh, it, it got pretty. Uh, it gets pretty wild in the consumers, which tells you that in any industry. The human soul cannot be satisfied, <laughs> <laughs> right? Digging which, deep, which, yeah. which, which which tells you. So uh, I'll jump in on yeah. one again there. I had the uh, Black Dahlia by Gran mm. Habano, right? Which first of all, anything named Black Dahlia will strike my attention. Not only for the historical case that it was there, but if you follow music. There is the Black Dahlia Band, Sorry right? <laughs> Which uh, is, is pretty good stuff. But anyway, uh, I digress. I had the Grand Habano Black Dahlia. Format I had was a Grand Robusto. That being said, its size was 6x54. Wrapper, Corojo Shade Grown Nicaraguan. Binder, Nicaraguan Habano. Filler, Habano Nicaraguan Cubita. Colombian with a little mix of Costa Rican in there, right? That's so, a mouthful. So yeah. that being said, you're like, wow, right? Jojo's Empiscale, complexity, 1 to 10, I gave it a 7. Flavor, I gave it an 8. Balance, I gave it a 7. Uh, it's available in three different sizes. Uh, Corona Gorda, Robusto, and Grand Robusto. I had the Robusto. Um, this whole Grand STK Black Dahlia. STK is like Stay True Kid. They had their whole thing going on there. Um, that's marketing. Yep. We're, We'll, we'll 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 just leave it at that. The Black Dahlia blend had, to me, notes of cream, coffee, and spice. A little bit of wood in there. Uh, as you smoke it, some earth and some cedar joins the profile, uh, making it. If you find it in your retail shop, definitely just seek it out. That being said, I gave it a fiver. Okay, I haven't had that one yet. Yeah, seek it out for sure. Next to me was the Hammer and Sickle Berlin Wall. Honduran Criollo wrapper, Honduran, uh, Honduran binder and filler, $9 price point with uh, three sizes. I smoked the Robusto 5x50. Uh, first of its kind with the uh, pressed copper finished metal band, which was uh, very interesting. No glue was used in the process. Um, medium in strength. This cigar bounced around a little bit for me. Not totally consistent, but uh, certainly a ton of flavor, and I enjoyed it. Um, I was able to pull earth and cinnamon. Notes of uh, a little bit of red pepper and cedar in there as well, and give it a solid box split. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, n numerous shops had uh, pointed out, you know, point me in uh, this direction. It took me a little bit to seek it out, but um, I enjoyed it. Yeah. So I've had one in, in, in my travels in Connecticut, stopping by a shop, and I've never tried the brand and got into it and, yeah. and whatnot. I, I noticed the metal band right away. Right. A little weird. One of two offerings from uh, Hammer and Sickle I'm going to get into uh, today. I'm, I'm kind of getting into that uh, that brand now. Are you really? Yeah. Okay. There you uh, go. Go with the second one here if you like. Uh, sure. So, uh, after last week, I uh, went with the, uh, the Black Label Trading Company, Santa Muerte. Ooh, right uh, after the show. Right after the show. I had to dig into it and <sighs> uh, see what see what the hype was all about. Talk to me, Goose. Ecuadorian <laughs> Habano wrapper and binder, Nicaraguan uh, San Andreas and Dominican filler. $8.50 price point, two sizes, 20 count box. Um, the Corona Gorda is the other size offered. Santa Morte, uh, of course, means Day of the Dead. Well, for, uh, the Day of the Dead is the uh, the theme. Uh, four and three quarter by 52 short Robusto I smoked. Gave the stick a box split also. Um, nuttiness and, and tobacco, those are the uh, predominant flavors I was able to pull. Just a, a smooth, creamy smoke, a little bit of pepper in there. And... Um, uh, James Brown, the owner, opened up his factory in 2015, and this particular stick ran from. Do you happen to know the uh, the dates they uh, they launched with the Day of the Dead theme and all that? Uh, until the 31st through November 4th. Well, it had to That's be before the, uh, November 2nd. That's the, the Day of the Dead. 
right you know so yeah 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 but uh enjoyable yeah right you stay me in the right direction well, let me tell you something about that thing. stick if you are into the black label line or if you're not into the black label line in my opinion that is the first stick and i said this on episode 251 last episode where that stick does not smoke like what's in their line did you did you grab that out it was a little creamier i have not sampled all from uh, all okay. from the line but uh it was a great stick, uh, yeah, yeah. N- nonetheless, and uh, had the proper format, tabled in a nice lounge, had a little bit of time. It was, uh, it was delicious. Yeah, it was good. It was, yeah. uh, I, I, I really like it. And what I said last episode was if that's an indication of what they're going to come out with, I don't know if they're experimenting from blends, but on, on my palate, if you took off the label and if you're a black label fan, right. you would think that you would not probably not be smoking a black label. It's different. From, from their other stuff. And, and of course, the newer stuff, like the Hornet and yep. the uh, Take Me Through the, what is it, the other one? Bishop's Blend. Yep. And there's... Uh, Some from... Uh, yeah, it, that, that is different Black as Horse. well. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really right. excited about where they're going as, as a company. Yeah, yeah the uh, Raw be, Shack. Because I did like tra- their traditional lines. And they just got a new factory, too. Oh, they did? Yeah, so. they, they upgraded. Yeah, so... That, that that could be that's a that's a that's a game changer for for them I'm sure mm-hmm. you know you have a lot more options yep uh for for the palette for sure so yeah so the uh, Fabrica de Oveja Negra is that the old mm-hmm. or the new that's the newest factory that, no, that was, that's I'm what sure I came up with I, I believe they're gonna still call it the same thing okay I think they just did a bigger build out. Yeah, Brica Negra, that's like yeah. a nighttime yeah. bricks or something. I'm yeah. not, I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. Sorry, good yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 there you go. I had the 724 Factory 57. The size I had was the Toro. That's 6x54. Uh, the wrapper is a Nicaraguan Habano binder, Costa Rican binder, leaf, filler, Honduran, Nicaraguan, Mexican San Andreas with a little bit of mix of Colombian tobacco. Complexity seven, flavor and balance. I gave it a nine, so I was like, okay, uh, this is again a little bit different from from seven twenty four. Buckle up, man. right? Here we go, right? Uh, it's available in uh, five different sizes: Corona Gordo, the d- 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 uh, Dog Walker, which apparently is a huge popular size. That's a little one. Yep. You know that gives you that 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 uh, thirty minute option, right, exactly. Right. So if you're if you're pressed for time, there, uh, the Gordo, the Robusto, and the Toro, the other available sizes. Uh, this 724 Factory 57 complex notes of of light cocoa, uh, then hints of black pepper and coffee for sure. You taste a bit uh, crisp, creamy finish. That wanted me to get into the other sizes. So don't be surprised, and maybe not next episode, episode, you know, three, right. four, five episodes down the road when I'm saying 724, Factory 57, but these are the other sizes Charge that, yeah. that, that I had because I was, I was impressed with, with, with that uh, size. I had picked the size because the shop I was at had them available in all sizes, but I picked the size on the uh, time component that I had of course. To, to review the stick. Again, I tried the uh, Toro, was 6x54. Uh, great stick. Check them out. Uh, I did give it a box split. Well, the solid rating. Yeah, I'm I'm a little high on the ratings this week. You know, <laughs> I, like I said in the beginning, <laughs> when I said in the beginning a few hours back, I'm I'm really high high on the ratings. Yeah, you from time to time. You know, so yeah, so nice. It's it, 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 it's a good stick. Have you ever had that one yet? No, I haven't. No. It's available next door. Right. If you don't want to go and get it. So <laughs> 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 next to me was the Ahoy de Nicaragua Cabinetta Series number thirteen. Ecuadorian shade, Nicaraguan Criollo wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. Uh, I had the Bellicoso 6x54, $7.50 price point with five sizes. Uh, cocoa, cedar, and tobacco notes were, uh, were dominant. Uh, just a relaxed, mellow, muted cigar. That's what I uh, was able to uh, put on it. Burned a little, burned a little hot uh, for me. It was uh, medium plus. Drew Estate handles the, all the distribution in the U.S., of course, and... Uh, Nicaragua's oldest cigar company. Um, I enjoyed it. I gave it a fiver. Uh, this is based on one one smoking experience, yep. this particular stick. But I hadn't seen this stick in any other shop. What was it? The Hoya de Nicaragua Cabinetta Series Number 13. Mm. Mm. Trying to think of where you got that. 
I'll, I'll figure it out by the end of the day. Okay. <laughs> by, the end of the day. <laughs> by the end of the day. Yeah. Carson. You may have not been. Other than it. Sereno. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smoke? <laughs> what do you like? Man, I'm all over the board. And I don't smoke only Sereno. I smoke a lot of stuff. There's so many good cigars out there. There are. That, yeah. You know, you can't be one of those manufacturers that's like, I only smoke my own stuff. You got to appreciate, you know. Absolutely. Other people's crafts. And that's what I'm all about. And as a true cigar lover, I feel like that's how you should be. Um, so I've been on the road a lot. And when I'm on the road a lot, I don't try a lot of new cigars because I'm usually driving and smoking. So I can't pay attention to them. So I've been with my favorites. Um, definitely Wayfarers. We'll do a shameless plug there. Um, and then the original Wise Man, the Way Wednesday. Yep. Um, I like that stick a lot. I've been smoking the uh, Guardian of the Farm a lot. Um, and then a throwback. I've been smoking a lot of Oliva Serie V Lanceros. Mm. And uh, I've always really loved that stick. And they're discounted at my local right now because, not because it's a bad cigar, just right. there's not a lot of people that smoke Lanceros. So it's kind of right. like my little, my little. Uh, treasure chest. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> like, treasure well, chest. will work through these. <laughs> right. um, yeah. And then the ECCJ from Illusion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I feel like that's what Tatuaje Black Corona Gorda too. Mm-hmm. So, oh, and the Atabe Trace uh, Trace Anos. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Not yeah. Atabe, a Byron Trace Anos. The Byron. Yep. Yeah, that's a good stick, man. That is a a, a, a real good stick. It, it, it's pricey, but man, it's big awesome. fan of the Byron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you you owe it to yourself to give yourself a treat. Yeah. For for, for that stick. Mm-hmm. A lot of hot, for sure. A lot of hot hours on the other uh, road there, man. You, you owe yeah. it to yourself. You <laughs> yeah. <know? laughs> You know, I I noticed that uh, you know it, it, it complexity wise you you're in the, you're, you're in a uh, in in the region. You know, they're yeah. not they're not all all over. The, well, what's a unicorn? Mm. Like if you if you you, you know if you could you know get a stick. You know, there's no pressure. There's only you know. Tens of thousands of people I know. who listen to the, who <laughs> this. Uh, you know, a you know. unicorn would probably be <laughs> <She's> saying, <laughs> right. He's like, oh <laughs> man, this is. I thought I was gonna get away scot free. Not when I'm the host, okay, sir. Okay, no <laughs> We'll do uh, non-Cuban. A unicorn would be original uh, Tatuaje Black Corona Gorda in the ceramic jars or the porcelain jars, which were like eight, nine years old. You can't really find Ooh. them anymore. I had an original jar. I smoked through them all. Um, but those things were awesome. And then a Cuban, a cigar that uses a 109 mold like the Wayfair does, is uh, Edmundo Dantes. Mm. Yeah. And that, I don't think you can find that. No, nah, yeah. that is, yeah, I'm saying mm, as in heard about it and never, yeah. never, oh, never yeah. crossed yeah. paths. Yeah, I've never had it. I've just heard awesome things. So, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, see, so even at your level. So we want to seek out on uh, Puro Trina. Yeah. Give well, it a peek. Yeah, yeah, you can you sign go. up and, and I might now see if it's there. <laughs> you know, see if it's there. You know, <laughs> good, good job, Joe. I got you, man. I like it. I like it. Uh, should I do my fight, Chuck Norris? Give it to him. This will be my second one in a year. Give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> right, the Joe, be the drum roll. Right, this is Joe Josepa's fight, Chuck Norris. I'm gonna give you all the information first, then I'm gonna disclose the brand. Oh, tease him. Tease all right, him. so we're gonna go backwards up. Okay. If I gave this stick a fight, Chuck Norris, it's available in five different sizes, Robusto, Toro, Torpedo, Churchill, and Reserva Corona. Uh, balance, I gave it a nine. Flavor, I gave it a nine. Complexity, I gave it a seven. Um, wrapper is Ecuadorian, Connecticut. Binder is from Ecuador. And the filler is Nicaraguan. The size was six by 52. Format I smoked was a Torpedo. I... This stick was given to me by a shop owner who gives me sticks at least once a week. Review this for your show. Review it right? It happens every week, right? Nice problem to have. You yeah. know, you review this for the show. You're probably going to nuke it. <laughs> and let me tell you something. I put it. He gave it to me on a Monday. I didn't have it till the following Saturday. Okay. I was studying, uh, wrapping up that tobacconist university curriculum. Yep. Right? Getting ready to take that test. And I lit up the cigar, right? Because I had already had something stronger. So when now I'm saying, okay, it's Ecuadorian, Connecticut, for me, palette-wise, good second cigar. Right. Ha- lit up the cigar, and I literally took the book. Whoop. <laughs> I put it down, and I said, holy crap. 
and the there was about six guys in the shop, and it was a Saturday afternoon early, about two o'clock, and they said, "What's the matter?" I says, "This is amazing," and they were like, "Is it here?" <laughs> <laughs> and I says, "Yeah," and I sold six cigars in thirty seconds, <laughs> and and it, they, they they bought it sight unseen. Nice. And 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 I'm like, oh wow, I'm like I'm like if this stays like this. This is like old day. school. I'm fighting Chuck Norris. This yeah. is like this is like it's there, crazy. and and yeah. and I'm like this is like and that. If you ever follow Story Geeks, that never happens, mm-hmm. right? And that being said, it was the Gilberto Oliva Reserva Blanc. Wow, which haven't had it. By it which either. which you know they got it next door. Uh, no, no. By the Oliva family, price point is so low. Like you're in that seven dollar range, and I'm not. I'm, you know, there are a lot of seven dollar smokes that I just don't even review for for Stoogie. To the price point factor into that Chuck Norris rating? No, absolutely okay. not. All because right. because because I didn't know the price because it he had came it, it had came yeah. out and he gave it to me and um, anything about that shop the price it didn't go on the shelf there. So like the they they had to enter it into the like the the worker. It wasn't the owner. Well, it was given to me on a Monday, but when I had it on a Saturday, the owner wasn't there. He doesn't work on the weekend, so it's it's one of those things where, um, the 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 worker when I sold the six had to figure out what it would be in the computer. Like he's right. looking he's looking through the price sheet of what the owner paid for. It's okay. It's uh, it's gonna be seven fifty. Like you know what I mean? Wow. And, and that was it. And and, pe- and people bought them. And and I don't know. Like and then I thought it was a fluke. So this happened three weeks ago. So I set, I bought five off the bat, and I let them sit, and I just put them back in my rotation, and I tried them again, and, and I'm thoroughly impressed. Wow. So I'm just like, wow. For Connecticut, mm-hmm. you know, which is why the complexity, I gave it a seven. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because it, it's a Connecticut. There's a, there's a lot of um, uh, y- your, your creativity on the palate is, is Absolutely. You're, very li- you're very limited, in my opinion. When it comes to some of the Connecticut's, I know I'm gonna get hey hate email. <laughs> you know what I mean? Joe H. Storygeeks.com. Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, th- I think if I, you, you, you're limited because because I generally shy away from Connecticut's wh- when when it comes to you, you know giving reviews and stuff like that, or gen- you know I generally shy away from the Gordo size, mm-hmm. you know, and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I was thoroughly impressed. Like amazing. Bought two boxes. Like off the bat, they're on back order, of course, right? Right? Oh, don't forget uh, right. your friends, there. <laughs> right? No, they're on back. You, you order them, and, and, and of course, the shop. I'm like, just get those yet? Yeah, they're not coming in before Thanksgiving. Be a good Thanksgiving smoke because I think that uh, some of my non cigar smokers, you're in that price range to, to give it to them. Right. And then, you know, you, the, but, but it won't kill them because it's mildly mm-hmm. tasty. It's just so creamy and, and, and so tasty that you're yeah. like, wow. Like, it's really it's, accessible. Yeah. Exactly. So that that was uh, like a hell of a stick to you toss that bird in, then you get perched up. Uh, you I'm know, telling in the you, the house, the garage, the deck. Well, like Connecticut is going to go day. great with wine. I'm Italian, so Stop they'll be the white and red. You yeah. know what I mean? That's yeah. the only errand I got to do for Thanksgiving is go to the liquor store and get ton, tons of wine. There you go. <laughs> you know, but yeah. So that just to review, that was the Gilberto Oliva Reserva Blanc. Nice, nice. Next to me was the. Uh, the Pulse of New York, Zeno Platinum Limited Edition 2013, Ooh. Ecuadorian <laughs> Connecticut, Dominican binder and filler, uh, a little bit high in the price point, but it's uh, Zeno produced by Davidoff, 22 bucks, 6 and 8 by 53 Perfecto, um, wood, earth, a little bit of pepper, cinnamon, a uh, ton of flavor in the cigar, and uh, other reviews had uh, had questions on the, uh, you know, with the drawer issues, not for me, this thing smoked like a champ. Uh, beginning to end, uh, four different box designs, and uh, on the stick, and thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, box split, for sure. And there's, you know, you know, around here anyway, there's not too many shops that actually uh, carry it. Is a it's a choice handful, and um, I it had it had alluded me to this point. Mm. Very uh, very tasty stick. The Zeno Platinum Limited Edition 2013 Pulse of New York. Yeah, that's. It's a, it's that's a, a win. It's a, it's a good. It's twenty-two bucks. I I felt I uh, 
I worked hard enough for the week. I, I deserved it. Yeah, you had a victory. You know what I mean? Yeah. You always just celebrate the victory. The wife may not agree, but... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but she listened to the show, right? Yeah. I only paid two cents for this cigar. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> <laughs> seven bucks, seven bucks. Right? No, I was 22, and it was... Uh, it, it smoked like a champ. Yeah. Like I said, what you know, do? consumer-wise, a lot of Stoic Geeks listeners listen to these reviews. Um... Jody is 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 very diligent enough in, in in putting the price point within his reviews. I think that that is a huge factor because people have a budget there and they do what they got to do. But uh, you know, point, every right? once in a while, if if you see if you see a stick out there that's in that range and whatnot, you know, if if you're if you're on the fence about making the decision, sometimes you owe it to yourself to give it that treat. And if you know, if you're a two stick guy. You know, you go into the shop and you say, I'm going to go there for five hours and hang out and read or do whatever you got to do and hang out with the guys. Have a one stick. You know what I mean? And, well, and, well, and, just and, a- and, and, and just treat yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? I always tell people that because there's a lot of time that they're like, oh, what are you smoking? Like, oh, my God, that's like, you know, $14. And I'm like, yeah, but, you know, you, you got to figure out what you want and, and where you go. And, and sometimes a, a 14 or a $22 stick. Might give you more enjoyment than two seven dollars. Well, that's exactly what, what went into you it know. at the time. Maybe uh, you table yourself for uh, a solid two hours. Maybe you gate back. You don't you know grab as many uh, as many sticks, but you really thoroughly enjoy that particular stick in the higher price point. Yeah, for yeah. sure. In economics and business, we call that marginal utility. But yes, this is not an economics podcast. So. We're learning. Though. <laughs> we're, we're learning. We're learning yes. Right, we're learning. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got, Joe? Um, it was an event stick, the La Roma de Cuba Noble Ace. Translated uh, to Nobility, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan Criollo and Habano binder, Nicaraguan fillers. $12.50 price point, box of 24 with three sizes. Uh, smoke the Regency, 5.5 by 50. Uh, barnyard, graham cracker, and a little bit of leather. Um, I don't know if it's the graham cracker note that I'm um, just now experiencing, uh, you know, Eight years into the uh, into the you know the smoking gig, or if you've been it, it pulling that out of the of that. I I probably dub it as sweetness. Yeah, you know what I mean. It just it resonated for me right out of the, right out of the gate. Do you yeah. eat a lot of graham crackers? I or? did as a kid. So okay. that that. That, <laughs> there it is. I'd explain I don't that. Yeah. Chip, you know, if they should have chipped me off a little bit of fruit, I wouldn't be 265, but who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my cross the bay, you know what I mean? But uh, only 3,000 boxes, uh, so uh, were available. And uh, not a lot of smoke production. Uh, it was a limited edition, first offered in 2014. And uh, had it at an event. It was, uh, it's made at the My Father's Factory. And I gave it a solid box split. This is a, uh, this is a solid stick for me. Twelve fifty, but the price range um, is up and down. I've, I've seen it as much as uh, 17 bucks mm. in some of, the, uh, some of the investigating I've done. But it was a great stick. And uh, thoroughly enjoyed. Would you rate it? Give it a box split. All right. And what was it again for the listeners? It's the uh, La Roma de Cuba Noble Ace. Yeah. Reason why I ask is they always say they want the listener feedback costs, and they email. They say, one of the things can you do? Can you repeat what you just said? Because they would have to go back in the podcast and do that. So we're we're trying to be accommodating here at Story Geeks. If you have any type of suggestions, Joe H. at <laughs> Joe H. at StoyGeeks.com. Suggestions, hate mail. Hopefully, in 2018, it'll be Joe D. or Ooh. Joe H. at StoyGeeks.com. But if you email Joe D. at StoyGeeks.com, you're done. Done. <laughs> He'll check it. He'll check it like Cinco de Mayo. You know what I mean? Like, he is not going to check it. So all the emails will be going to me. It's not that I'm a control freak or anything like that. It's just, you know, you got to share the burden. Because some, some of the emails, I, I love when I get. Love you know, or hate, you got to appreciate it's, it. It's usually Tuesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday. I start getting emails. And uh, Story, Story Geeks listener will put in the subject bragging rights, you know what I mean? And then they would put, they would take a picture of what they're smoking <coughs> or what they found, and I'm like, oh, and then we have conversation. We kind of keep the conversation going all week long. But I say, oh, I never had that, or oh, I've had that, it's pretty good. What would you rate it on our system and, mm-hmm. and, and, and stuff like that? It's amazing. So I'm hoping that Joe D can share that burden if he gets, you know, ready to check email. <laughs> May's coming up. That's you it. Know, but, you know, so... <laughs> You have one more? I do. All right, go for it. Uh, I have one more. Okay. 
started the other morning with a cock in my mouth. Uh, Whoa! A fighting cock. Okay! Hi. A fighting cock cigar, Hi. that is. <laughs> Where's your line, Joe? Come on. Keep, <laughs> keep, keep it clean. <laughs> the, the fighting cock cigar. Um, this Story Geeks episode is rated P, is rated <laughs> raged. Oh, wow. That make his mock just kicked in. Is rated uh, PG-13+. plus. <laughs> the fighting cock. Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan long fillers and binder. It's given to me by uh, by a friend. Spoke the seven Sean by Amelia. forty-eight. <laughs> seven by forty-eight <laughs> Churchill. Actually, uh, I'll get to Sean in a second. He's originally my friend, you know. Yeah. He I used to design stuff from for, for our smoke shop yes. in Providence. But you go on. Gave me the thorough history the other day. I love it when people steal my friends. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's a network. It's a Paul community. does that with, with 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 uh, Walter. Right. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you know Walter <laughs> gave me this thing. Well, Walter is a treasure hunter. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and Walter, I know you listen to this show, and yes, yes you does. still are a treasure hunter. But anyway, go on. Nice. <laughs> um, price point on this stick: dollar fifty. Online only. Box of 20, four sizes, um, earthy and tobacco notes, white pepper, spice, for the ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous price point. Um, did you say dollar fifty? Yes. Mm. That's yeah. unreal. Yes, I did. Mm. Okay. Th- this is a stick that, uh, according to our friend Sean Amelia. Because of the semicolon online only, <laughs> it's a dollar fifty, Carson. <laughs> Carson, <laughs> as a boutique retailer, <laughs> I'm sorry, as a boutique Wholesaler. I mean, a lot of people we pissed. cover. We what do you? What do you? <laughs> what do you think about that one? What do you think about Joe D reviewing that one? I'm so you eat. need to get one of these cocks in mouth. And see you I, 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 I would not stick that in my mouth for the simple mere fact that <laughs> I, I. It's not the name. Well, I should disclaim it's the name. Yes. But it's it's it, 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 you, you, they gotta get into retail. It was. Uh, I believe they were at one point. That's the thing. That this company. Went away, and then they resurfaced, and I really had a tough time uh, researching the history on this particular stick, mm-hmm. and possibly if the listeners can uh, dig a little bit deeper and see if they come across there then too. Uh, they can't dig deeper. Welcome. You know why they can't dig deeper? Because when you make a decision to do one or the other, you punch yourself in the face, shoot yep. yourself in the foot, whatever. You need to have a business model. As retailers, and you need as as you as well on on your level, you need to have a bunch of different avenues to Maybe get your product trader. out. We don't know to get your uh, damn. Okay. Right, <laughs> moving on. Tell me about my friend. Tell me about your new friend. Handmade in Nicaragua. Oh uh, yeah, they're all handmade in it. Nicaragua. Moving on. This was <laughs> a box worthy stick for me. Box worthy. Oh my lord. The, based on the mere fact that. I'm going to smoke these at work. I'm not going to worry about... I mean, I catch guess 25 bucks, catch, you're set. Catch and runs. The cigar did the trick for me. It was it was tasty, and uh, the price point uh, it can't be missed. Okay, be that missed. being said, even in 2018, you direct all your emails to Joe H at <laughs> StoyGeeks.com. <laughs> <laughs> right? Haterade. Box worthy. Box worthy for for the cock and the mo- what's it called? <laughs> Fighting cock. Fighting cock. <laughs> <laughs> Box worthy for what for what it is. Not in the grand scheme, but for me personally, the price point, the uh, flavor and taste, uh, and uh, it's a cigar that you're not going to shed a tear if you happen to table it. And, uh, oh, I'm going to shed a tear. <laughs> now, now let me ask you this question. This was given to you by someone, so you didn't actually purchase this from a retailer. Correct. Okay, good. Because they would be breaking the law. <laughs> But anyway, moving on. Tell me about your new friend. Sean Amelia? Yeah. What do you want to know? Well, I don't know. What I, you, I you said you have something to tell me. He's a wealth of knowledge. His, uh, <laughs> his knowledge on this particular stick was vast. Yeah. And uh, he was a fan. fan a, of the, as am I. Fan of the brand. Fan of the brand. I cannot wait mm-hmm. to. I'm going to post that label on his uh, FB profile. And I'm going to tag you in it. Going to stir him out of the hole. Nice. And I'm going to say, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that next I, door until, until you smoke it. I'd harness the uh, the comments. You don't know. You don't know. I I, I have a problem with with all oh, kidding aside with you, you know we used to do stuff retail and then now we only do stuff exclusively. Yeah, like exclusive. Like I can see if you're uh, P Johnson, help me out. Steve Saka, mm-hmm. Carson Serino, right? Well, if you're if you're up there. Or any of the classic facings that are out there, and you want to offer something to drive to your website. Say you have a box of only 500 or what, uh, uh, 
500 sticks of something exclusive. Yep. Yeah. And they log on to you, whatever it is that you want to do. So you capture the email and use it for marketing, do that, all for that. But to go one or the other, like your, your, you well, know. This is a uh, cigar show. We're smoking cigars. This is, uh, this is. I'm not criticizing no, no, everything no, no, that you do. A, this I, is a true assessment. You, know. you heard it first. I smoked the $22 stick, enjoyed it, and a buck and a half. Ridiculous. But what it is, I figured it'd be uh, complete trash. I want to try it. Well, yeah, I figured it'd be lawn mulch all day. It was not. <laughs> it was. Uh, it was I trick. smoke everything. I, try <laughs> it. Right, I get it. I get it. The only reason why I'm being a hot ass is yeah. because I have two box worthies and a fight Chuck Norris in the same segment. Like this is Stogie ridiculous. Geek. Not, this yeah. Stogie Geek segment is going to be the norm. layered that either Joe Joe H left his guard down this week, <laughs> or Joe H is like you know getting soft or whatever. Yep, yep. But you know I got another box worthy. Another one. Yeah, and this one, this Sweet one. Jesus. I, let me tell you something. I walked into a, another cigar shop separate from the first one, and and when the owner goes, "Come here," that's why he goes, "I got something for you." I said, "Okay." And he hands it to me, and I gotta do like the, I gotta do the 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 wipe, because it's it's older. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, you know what I mean? I'm like, what the heck is this? And it was the tatuaje. I'm like, oh, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It was the tatuaje. I'm gonna butcher this word. Kanju. Yep. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Really? Kanju with the uh, yeah the brown label. Yeah. Ooh. I'm I'm getting better. Spanish is getting better, right? <laughs> Things are improving. It's actually French. Star- Channeling the end of French. Is it? Oh, it's yeah. French. Yeah. Ah, well, I ain't gonna do anything cool anyway. All right, anyway, right? Uh, Tatuaje Kanju 2003 Reserva Broadleaf. The format was Toro. Looking this up was incredibly daunting to get the 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 uh, size. I thought it was six and a half by fifty by sight. It's six and a half by fifty two. Wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf. Binder and filler is Nicaraguan. Uh, complexity seven. Flavor nine. Uh, balance eight. Apparently, this was a project that had come out when Tatuaje wanted to put a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper into. The Tatuaje Selection de Cazador line. Hmm. And this debuted at IPCPR 2016. Hmm. However, selling a 100 count box, because they were all different sizes, 100 count boxes, the huge box, right, that came in there. Yep. It would retail at 1200 bucks plus tax. That being said, uh, that might not be a good idea. Quote unquote, power business move. Those are my words. And oh, by the way, this description with the power of business move, my words, is on stogiegeeks.com. Click on stogies. You can catch all the stuff that I review or Paul reviews and hopefully coming soon in 2018 that Joe D reviews. Kill me. Because right? <laughs> if not, then Stogie Geeks is going to have to get a secretary for Joe D, but I don't know if that's in his contract. I don't have a secectary in mind, but maybe you need one. Possible. I can be your secretary. There you go. No, right. Wolfie. Yeah. That being right. So that being said, uh, it was a power business move for them to separate it, um, and they were selling uh, samples, individual uh, cigars, or they were in in a, like a ten pack. So they broke up the box. Retailers mm-hmm. break up the box. Yep. Doing it in ten pack. There it was one of those things because I'm like, where's one the box? One of each, right? Yeah. Because yeah. because when the retailer hit me up, he's like, yeah, well, we bought a box. He's like, I can show you the box. And the box, it, it's this huge box that yeah. holds, you know, a uh, hundred cigars, right? And they're all in, in an awesome presentation. Oh, but yeah. again, you know, came out in 2016 at IBCPR, you know, $1,200 a box. Probably not going to happen to most retailers. Uh, you know, you'd probably have to be broader than Broadway to, right. to, to purchase it to the mass amounts. Is so that they, they separated and did that there. Because I was like, you know, he handed me the stick and... I tried to take a picture of it for the retailer, for the Story Geeks listener, and I didn't have one, you know. But that being said, le- let's get to the cigar. The Tatuaje Kanju uh, 2003 Reserva Broadleaf is very flavorful with a pepper, and then you get that meaty leather cedar. Savory. Like yeah. savory. Perfect. Great word. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Like, I was like, I want more. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, Asked him if he had more. He had one more. 
I bought it. Of course. So now there is no more <laughs> no in, more. in the state of Rhode Island, <laughs> right? There is no more on the state of Rhode Island. It was so gosh darn good. And if you know anything about me, uh, I smoked it back to back. <laughs> I didn't save it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm the type of guy, Cost, that if you give me a you could say, Joe, this was from my original <laughs> release. Wait till it leaves Of the room. Sereno Cigar. No, no, no. I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> man, cool. I, I, I would throw this out. I, like, if you gave me, like, an original Sereno release, I would literally throw this out, cut it, and light it, like, right in front of you. Because <laughs> no day is granted to you other than today. You yeah. know what I mean? Which is why I don't save a lot of cigars. That's why I just steal mine from, from, from Paul's humidor. But anyway, right? That being said, uh, it's very flavorable. You get that savory. Thank you. Uh, meaty, leather, cedar in there. A great amount of strength within this cigar. During the final third, it's balanced with le- leather. Some more meaty, leathery flavor comes out. You will thoroughly enjoy and I don't want to use the word unicorn yet because you can get them. Mm-hmm. You just can't get them in Rhode Island. There was some more coming to Rhode Island because the retailer is going to buy that another thing. They're, they're out there. You know yeah. what I mean? They're, they're, they're sitting in a warehouse somewhere. And, you I've know, had them. They're good. So, yeah. so you, you've had them. Like, yeah. like it's one of those cigars you light up and you're like, whoa. Mm-hmm. Like, whoa. Flavor right from the beginning. Yep. Medium. Yep. Meaty. Savory. I would it, it it just it, it just leaves you wanting more. Nice. And I was so gracious. Luckily you had another one. You had a backup. And, and, and I had another one. And there's nothing more satisfying than wanting more and having it. One more right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. So that being said, uh I did I did give it a box worthy uh there for sure. Um, you know, but not the box worthy in the twelve hundred dollar price point that you were saying, but however I would really be on the fence of an exploratory phase if if they if if they were out there. Like I would really like like consider it. Yep. You know what I mean? I'd probably sell half of them. Or, you know, but whatever. You know, I might go to PeroTrader. dot com and 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 you know uh, you know uh, sell some for negotiation. Unicorns or something like that. You yep. know, but uh, it's it's definitely a good smoke if you ever uh, have a chance to come across one. Excellent. Uh, I did, but but what I, when he handed it to me and I had to do the I had to do the like what is this you know what I mean like and he's like yeah this is he goes because it's a type of uh, cigar place that has an aged humidor but there's enough um, talking about uh, Regency right. EG uh, oh. he has an a, a separate aged humidor they squirrel some away but he's got he, he, there's so much demand at some of the product. That they don't really make the display there. He's like, as soon as I walked in, he's like, you know what I mean? Come over here, you know. So yeah, it was, it was, uh, it, 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 it was a great find. It was, nice. it was something I didn't expect at all, and that's what makes your day better, I think. You yeah, know? for sure. Speaking of making the day better, final thoughts on the uh, Sereno Royale 20th anniversary Maduro Double X. Let me tell you something, Carson. As, or as people would say, this is Carson's boy cigar, right? <laughs> Talking about the boys over at Churchill's, yeah. right? They're, they're, it, it, it lives up to its hype. Yeah. It's, it's a great stick. The Wayfarer, I think, is a really good um, second stick to that mm-hmm. there. Uh, I do like the Wayfarer. I, I, it, it, it's totally two different smokes. Yeah. I do like the Connecticut line, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's, the Connecticut line is very enjoyable. But this stick here, you, you like I said, it... it, it there are so, there are some sticks that actually slow me down. Yep. And uh, you know it it this is definitely one of them. It's it's awesome. Sweet. Like St- the stick. Stand if alone. I could give it Stogie Geeks rating, I would give it a box worthy. It's for sure. Awesome. Box worthy. Yeah. I, I would I would give it a box worthy. Uh, it's it, it's it's a great stick. And remember, these sticks are pretty new. Yeah. So they're going to age. Mm-hmm. Even better. Oh, they're yeah. going to age. And I'm looking forward to what you're coming out with uh, next. Right on. For sure. Yeah, I don't want to have to wait till IPCPR. Coming to a shop near you? So. You might get some. So that yeah. being said, <laughs> right, we want to interview you before IPCPR. Okay. You know, and if I could ask that, you know, maybe you might give us some clues before ICPR before then. They're here first. Okay. It's only tens of thousands of people who are listening yeah. to this show. 
So some might make an appearance. You know, yeah. m- my friends would would definitely love to hear from you. And again, if you have any comments, Joe H. Geeks dot com. Any final thoughts, Joe? Just enjoying the cigar. Great, uh, great episode today. Thank Carson uh, for showing up. Of course, of course. Thank you guys. Carson, it was a pleasure being yeah, with you. Definitely. Thank you for taking the time out to be with us in the studio. Always. Uh, next week, fascinating show. That would be episode 253. This was episode 252 for Stoy Geeks. I'm your host, Joe Zempa. We'll see you next time. Go, right. <laughs>